Thank you. Uh, it was the meeting the they tried to um, stop. Missed. Russia, China and Bolivia voting to attempt to block a briefing by the UN's own fact-finding mission on Myanmar. China said it was an internal issue, even though over 700,000 people fled the country into Bangladesh to escape the violence. Russia said the report of the mission was biased and unreliable, even though it runs to 440 pages of searing testimony. As the Security Council veto doesn't apply to procedural matters, the chairman of the fact-finding mission was eventually able to give his damning conclusions. Our report characterizes the recent events in Rakhine State as a human rights catastrophe that was foreseeable and planned. One that will have severe impact for many generations to come, if not forever. The details of the report clearly had an impact on some. I never thought in my diplomatic career that I would hear uh, as briefing to the Security Council as compelling uh, but detailing such awful treatment uh, of a peoples as we have heard today. The UK was one of the European countries you, suggesting the situation be referred to the International yes. Criminal Court. That won't happen because in that case a Security Council veto could and almost certainly would be used. But an investigation into the crime of forced expulsion is a possibility because the country so many people fled to, Bangladesh, has signed up to the court's jurisdiction. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, of the United Nations.